For a millennium, Westminster Abbey has celebrated the lives of royals and marked some of the biggest events in British history. Today, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh were among those to celebrate 75 years of the National Health Service. The Prime Minister and Leader of the Opposition read Bible verses for an institution which has often been described as the UK's national religion. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. This leaflet is coming through your letterbox one day soon, or maybe you have already had your copy. The publicly funded, free at the point of use healthcare system came into being on the 5th of July 1948. The man who spearheaded its creation in the post-war welfare state was the then Minister of Health, Anayan Bevan. The NHS was 12 years old when he died in 1960. His hometown of Tredegar paid tribute to a great political force. We will remember him as a dedicated man, a man with a purpose, a man that set out to do something and succeeded in doing it. On its 75th birthday, think tanks are warning that the health service is in a critical condition and doomed to failure. Attitudes in Westminster towards the NHS range from admiration to concern to optimism. I'm deeply anxious about the NHS's future. I think this is one of the greatest institutions this country has ever built. When I went through kidney cancer, the NHS saved my life and there are millions upon millions of families across the country who have similar stories. But we can see it's in crisis, the worst crisis in its history. Well, I think the NHS has got a bright future. I've worked in the NHS as a nurse for over 30 years. So, and I think the changes that we've seen over that 75 years um, you know, have been incredible. You know, people are living longer, people are living healthier lives because of the impact of the NHS. Difficulties in the NHS are nothing new. I think it's very tough luck to pick on, on, on this body of workers who are already underpaid and whose work is definitely a vocation. When medical men undertake industrial action, it breaks the traditional relationship between them and their patient, and I think this is nothing short of tragic. <laughs> However, today's NHS still faces multiple pressures. There is a record rise in demand for care, a record 7.4 million people in England are on waiting lists, and NHS providers say the health service is experiencing the biggest financial squeeze in its history. We've had the toughest three and a half years in the history uh, of, uh, of the, of, of the uh, NHS with the pandemic, with recovering from the pandemic. Obviously, we've got industrial action that we're having to deal with at the moment. People are living longer. Our ability to, to prevent disease is going to be increasingly important and to treat disease uh, is getting better all the time. Uh, we're diagnosing cancer earlier, real focus at the moment, and that means that we can treat earlier, which means better outcomes. So I'm really positive. Beloved but battered, respected yet reeling, and still resilient after three quarters of a century. It is certain that the next 75 years will bring new challenges. It is hoped that the NHS will still be there to tackle them.